Talbot! Are you sure you weren't followed? We're safe. No one is ever a hundred percent safe. Is that a sail? Oh, I admit it. I know Stan, so Aww. what of it? You can't prove anything. Can I have the picture? No! That would be weird. Years and years and years. Remember that. I should give him his toothbrush, by the way. That's why I give up. Okay. That's a weird tip, but let's test that, I guess. I used to love these when I was six. It doesn't fit. What? Is something wrong? Well, I was just wiping a smudge off the glass. Oh, all right. But be careful. Guard parrots are attack trained. Uh, sure. Whoa! That's not supposed to be unlocked. I'd better fold this and put it in storage. Then I can figure out what's wrong with the lock. Crisp creases. I'll just leave the replica flag in its place. Maybe you won't notice the real flag is missing. Okay. So it was th that was the correct thing. I was just too slow last time. I hate when that happens, honestly. That's two flags. There are still quite a few parts of the map that I can see through the holes. Yeah, four. Also called it. Um. Oh, yeah. Um, so, I can't forge the court order. If I get myself turned in, it's the wrong name. So, uh, but how do I get that stuff? Oh, I am a fucking idiot. Okay. Yep, I should I should have gone to sleep because my brain isn't working anymore. That was Hold quite it. Are you sure you weren't followed? We're safe. Quite obvious, no right? One is ever 100% safe. I think you might be interested in this judicial order in the case against Stan S. Stanman. Ah, what's this? Only a month? Oh no! Take these records! Get them to the courthouse on Bermuda! They'll know what to do with them! It's very damaging stuff. Stan will get 10 years at a minimum. I take care of it myself, but I've got to pack for witness protection. Oh goodness! Can I have the picture? Not now, I'm packing. Can I help you pack? I can handle it. Just take that evidence to the court on Bermuda. Weirdly, this island seems even smaller now that there's no one here. I'm pretty sure it's the same size, but it uh, would have been funny if it weren't. I wish the escape tunnel up, was two-way. Oh, that's nice. Oh, also, I forgot to go to the court. <laughs> Oopsie. There is a lot of junk in here, but I think I see the evidence that will lock Stan up for a long, long time. Your Honor, 
I submit this satchel bursting with incriminating financial documents as Exhibit A in Everyone v. Stan. The evidence is so entered. Hmm. The court requires that Ned Filigree swear an affidavit if said evidence is to be accepted. Fuck me. For the court, I can state that I'm Ned Filigree. This court can establish vis-a-vis -vis customs documents that your name is actually Guybrush Threepwood Esquire. If I don't get order, I will clear the court. The court can only accept said documents when accompanied by a sworn affidavit of the person who is legally Ned Filigree. Court is adjourned. Are oh, you kidding me? I submit these official looking documents to the court, seeking a reprieve from destruction. Order! Order in the court! Upon review of said order, the court finds that due to procedural backlog, the listed items have not been destroyed. Except for the fancy box that Brad from accounting took. The legality of the aforementioned document having been presented is verified. Presenting pleadant may therefore take possession of said items. I have no idea what you just said, but thanks for the key. Order! Order in the court! Outbursts of thanks will not be tolerated. F me. What's up, Stan the man? Here, Stan, I think this is your toothbrush? Sweet gingerbread cake, that's old Bessie, all right. I'm much obliged. Hey, Stan. Howdy, son. Hmm. I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. What? Oh, come on. I'm no expert, but this stuff looks as shady as an oak tree in a cave. This should be enough. Looks like Ned had a valid accounting license on 26 islands, including the District of Columbia. That's a joke, right? That, if that works, I'm gonna cry. This should clear up any issues about who I am. Do you hereby swear under oath and penalty of incarceration that you are Ned Filigree and the documents you are submitting are true and legal? Define the word true. In light of this new evidence, I hereby sentence Stan to 10 years of hard labor in the ice quarry with no chance of parole. Please retain this legally binding documents for your records. <laughs> for the deliciously appropriate and lengthy term of 10 years. What's up, Stan the Man? Uh, I have some disturbing news about your sentence. Ten years? Oh no, I can do a month standing on my head, but not ten years. You gotta get me out of here. Consider it done. Hey, Stan. You gotta get me out of here, son. I can't do ten years. This key doesn't fit. <laughs> What a thunk. I can read the serial number. I'll copy it down. That was easier than expected.
Welcome back. Hi. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. A shackle key, eh? Special extreme cold hardened version. They don't even make these shackles anymore. I guess you've had them a while? Oh, yeah. They've been in my family for generations. No comment on that. Stanarino! It's the key I had made for Stan's shackles. Ah, freedom. Now let's get out of here before they come by to refrost the shackles. Yes, I want to take you to talk to Elaine about the lines. I'm so glad you could come, Mr. Stanman. Always happy to help out a fellow entrepreneur in a non-competing industry. Let's get right to it. Your target market are pirates. Mostly young, mostly male. Plagued with adrenaline issues and itchy trigger fingers. They don't care about their lives, they care about image. They and about big boobs. They will help them be the hottest, the coolest, the freshest. Whichever, it's the est part that matters. How about the alivest? I like your thinking, but aim higher. We'll start with branding. Lime is the residue in a bathtub. It's thin, it's unappealing. Saying it out loud sounds like whining. Lime. Sizzle with edge, like razor bombs or sour bombs or something. I see what you mean. Guybrush, you were once a young man with adrenaline issues. What do you think? The sublimes. Sublimes. Let's not get too clever, son. Remember the target <laughs> one. Razor bombs it is. Your promo flyer has also got to go. Now let me just show you what I'm thinking. Talking about health benefits is fine. In fact, I think we need to exaggerate those just a little bit. What we need to avoid is science. People don't trust it. At least not the real kind. We want snake oil, crystal vibrations. The more miraculous and improbable it sounds, the better. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with lying. Then we won't put it into words. We'll use a picture. Pictures don't lie, they imply. Guybrush, if razor bombs could do anything in the world for you, what would you want it to be? Find the secret of Monkey Island. Guybrush! That's good, but I'm thinking more along the lines of a superpower. Irresistible charm? You've already got that. Aww. Aww. Everybody wants to be charming. That's perfect. Now, lastly, we need a call to action. Get cold, or go dark, or take that. Those don't mean anything. Don't need to. It's just a short, punchy slogan that sounds like you're supposed to do something right now. Hmm. <laughs> Almost too meaningful, but I think we can work with it. This is your new flyer. Razor bombs, by these, prevents hair loss, reduces belly fat. May also cure scurvy. How do I scroll down? Show people this and they'll be begging for your product. Name your price, firstborn, anything. Actually, we'll be giving them away. This is a public health initiative. What? Well, now that's just crazy talk. You don't give away the prize bull just because people need bulls, if you follow me. I'm definitely sensing some bull here, if you follow me. <laughs> well, it's about time to close anyway. You can mail me my cut. I'm out of here. Don't follow me. Your cut? Now, wait just a minute. Ooh.
Wait, did I not? Do I have to pick the thing up or something? And didn't? I mean, that would be a typical me. Especially typical tired me. I'll just borrow this for a little while. I have some exciting scurvy news for you. Read this. Razor bombs, the new amazing miracle fruit. Ah, regrows hair, removes belly fat. Oh, also cures scurvy. Fantastic. Have you got any of these miracle razor bombs? Sure thing, right here. These little green guys. You're sure there's no science in them? Check the flyer. You won't find a whiff of science. We're saved! Fight these, and welcome aboard! Well, it's nice to get a warning. The messages are a little mixed, but this clever mashup really gets the point across. I'm sure they won't miss one little flag, but I'd also rather not ask. Let's, uh... Let's not, then. The holes of the three flags line up... Almost. ...in one exact location. I'll mark it with an X. Almost, but not quiet. Are we having fun yet? Yes, thank you. Would you look at that? It's shiny. And the shark grabs it. <laughs> I'm sure that oops doesn't have any unintended like consequences. Fault. They shouldn't have stuck the key in there so hard. I'm not superstitious, but I've seen one too many angry ghosts. I better split. Someone saw him talking to an old crone on Low Street. I confirmed it myself. I'm more concerned about the crone than Threepwood. Who is she? Just some old bag of bones. Don't worry about her. I took care of her. Excellent. She did have a key on her. A big, fancy gold one. Oh, come but, on. No, no. We don't need the keys. We have a better way. Just put it where Threepwood won't get it. Like where? I don't care! Use your imagination! Yes, Captain. Now, I have another task for you. You'll need to pick up a few things from our ship on the way. So that's probably where the key ends up, right? I'll make this quick. I don't know when LeChuck's coming back. Are you finished with the joke book yet? Emotionally, yes. 
It's not that long, and I've read it 16 times already. Can I have the joke book back? Then what am I supposed to read? You said you were finished. You've read it 16 times. It's boring reading it over and over, but it's better than nothing. Hang in there, Bob. Still not funny. Hey, Bob, I've got a great book for you. It's LeChuck's personal diary. Yikes. I wouldn't want to be caught with that. And you <laughs> shouldn't either. Mm, that's too bad. Uh, how about this book? Oh, it doesn't work. I haven't found any cards anymore. Do they not show up when you answer too many questions wrong or something like that? It has some sea slime, maybe, but still one of the most beautiful keys I've ever seen. Been. Been. lady found me out. She came here and roughed me up. Took away my golden key. Oh, no. Uh, any idea where she might have taken it? Don't know. Can't afford to care. I know when I'm beat. I'm giving up on the secret. You ought to get out, too. Thanks for the warning. Are you okay? Only my spirit is crushed. Rest of me will heal. I've got two golden keys. Good for you. But you be careful. Remind me again oh, no. you know about where the golden I know that, I know that. Oh, miss, there's the one once. Not much. Well, I'm sorry to hear about your key. I hope your luck is better. See you around, Whitey. Most likely. Hi there. Hello. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. I see a peninsula trailing off into small islands, but no X marks the spot. It's southern Florida. I have family there. These are nice. Thanks. Hello again. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. Well, I wouldn't want to upset her. this book one book at a time I only trust you so far oh yeah that is definitely a thing oh come on please change my LU can I get this applied to a different project fine fine what do you want
I want to rebuild local businesses. I'm sure you'll have public support on that one. Here you go. That should work, right? What would you say if I told you the governor authorized funds for the rebuilding of the scum bar at an unspecified future date? She did? That's fantastic! I'll have a sunken area that catches grog spills for recycling and a medical Yuck. room. Excuse me, lots to plan. Okay, if I take this cookbook back now? Sure, sure, of course. Can I cook my fish here? No. Thanks. Thanks for returning my book. Maybe you have learned to be responsible. Can I borrow this book? Fine, fine. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. Definitely. So my reasoning is, if he has an endless book, that's good, right? Hey Bob, would you like to read this book? It's about a voyage that never ends. Sounds interesting and long. Here's mm -hmm. your joke book back. It's Flambe's Underworld Joke Book. All jokes about demons and otherworldly stuff. Oh, otherworldly stuff, you say? Aha. Uh -huh. You mean there are jokes in there that are not from this world? That sounds useful. If you will all come to order, the contest will begin. The first contestant to laugh is the loser. Did you hear the one about the pirate who gave his parrot a duck? Polly wanted a quacker. <laughs> is that the best you've got? What did the demon say when he stepped on a pitchfork? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that one before. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Guybrush Threepwood. Where did you get that book? I'm uh, confiscating this. Well, two to go. You found it like this? It was over 200 years old. It's the only one on the uh -oh. island. An irreplaceable natural resource. What are we supposed to do with it now? Make two things? How many people besides yourself even know the location of this tree? Not many at all. I did tell someone about it just recently, but... But what? Who was it? Well, a uh, coincidence. What else have we destroyed? I mean... I guess next stop is the museum that had 
inexplic that inexplicably had stuff stolen, right? Yes. Wait. How will I take it from there, you asshole? Yeah, but how... I guess like that, right? I thought about switching the papers, but I will return in twenty seconds to grade your papers. Again, I couldn't find an angle to actually do it. Now. No funny business, Buster. No copying. It was even even easier than I thought. Time's up. I'll take your papers. I am most surprised by this, but the evidence is clear. Mr. Threepwood is the winner. But how is that possible? Clean living, regular exercise, and a brain like a mountain. Dense, motionless, and shaped by erosion. You can see. <laughs> I can. Better luck next time. Only one more contest to go. Need the pepper, right? Must have blown away. What am I going to do? Oh shit! Oh, here after that argument. <sighs> oh shit! Right away. What was I thinking? Now I'm right back where I started. Uh, excuse me. Are we interrupting? No. Sorry. What can I do for you, gentlemen? We'd like to purchase some razor bombs. We're running low and. We want to prevent hair loss and trim excess belly fat. You... Wait a minute. Where did you hear that name? We read a flyer. We heard supplies were limited. The flyer! That's my mock-up. My one-of-a-kind, impossible-to-replace, project-saving flyer! Do you have it? Please tell me you have it. Ah, sorry. It, uh, fell into the sea. Fell into? <laughs> like it wasn't your fault. Well, it wasn't my fault. It was yours. Wait, I know. You could ask the nice blonde pirate for a flyer. Blonde pirate? But he's the one who <laughs> gave it to us. Oh, he sails around in the weirdest looking little ship. Um... I guess I can take comfort in the fact that, um... Oh, no, I can't. I was about to say I can take comfort in the fact that Boy Bush exists, but... That doesn't mean it's Elaine's son, right? Just saying. That ought to give it some zip. If you would each now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And now, let the eating commence! <laughs> Not. 
Two bites? That's more than she ate, right? I can stop now? Uh, yes, you can stop if you like. Ladies and gentlemen, your new champion of hardiness with two bites to the Queen Squad is Mr. Threefoot! <laughs> Citizens of Bermuda, Mr. Guybrush Threepwood, Esquire, has somehow successfully bested our beloved Queen Odina at all three of our traditional challenges. We are gathered to complete an orderly and peaceful transfer of power. Can we transfer the crown first? I got things to do. There are some customary vows. Vows? Nobody mentioned any vowing. Will you faithfully uphold the honor and dignity of Bermuda in your every thought and deed? Mm. I'm not sure I can control my thoughts, or even my deeds for that matter. You must learn on both counts. Honor and dignity? The queenship is not an no honor position. Okay, sure. And will you promise to enforce and obey the laws of Bermuda? C can I ask about the obey part? I mean, if I'm queen... The queen is also a citizen. Uh, how many of these vows are there? Not many. Fine, I'll do it. Do you swear to defend and protect the people of Bermuda, sacrificing your own life or limbs if necessary? My life? Or limbs. Don't forget the limbs. This is starting to sound like a trap. It's just standard contractual language. When do we get to the part with the crown? Once you have completed your vows as queen, and not before. Okay, I guess I'm in. And will you gracefully accept all challenges to your hardiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence? Uh, how about if Odina stays queen, and I just claim the crown? The crown is the property of the queen. Nice try. Is there a flex time option? I have other commitments. You may sleep between the hours of 11 and 4. Oh, all right. Very well. Citizens of Bermuda, your new queen, Guybrush Threepwood. Congratulations. If you want my advice, I... Give me the crown already. I hope you like spending all your time doing the three challenges. Because that's basically what your job is now. I mean, I just have to lose immediately, right? Or get imprisoned for destroying the crown. Oh! <laughs> um. As your queen. <laughs> Decide to reshape the government as a worker-owned collective. Decide to abolish the monarchy in favor of total anarchy. To tell you that we're all queens in our own special way. I've decided to abolish the monarchy in favor of total anarchy. That's why I've symbolically destroyed the crown. Why don't you all take a key? You I like one. how the judge is... Um, and you get one. And you! A bit... Now, um, if you'll excuse me, I've got places to be. Dressed out. So, the Swabi says, the map or the bucket? <laughs> there are so many other things I could be doing right now. Why is that spell taking so long? Relax. Lila knows what she's doing. My mother always used to say, good pizza takes time. That's idiotic. Are you insulting me or me mama? Yes. No. Now this seems worthwhile. Never bring a gun to a sword fight or something like that, right?
it's like a slow crashing wave of spores. Hmm. It's not lit, but it does have some lamp oil in it. Okay, it's lit. Just a dead end. It sounds a little creepy if you think about it too much. The flame looks good. It's one of the most beautiful keys I've ever seen. Take the strange sign. What? That's an option. I can't quite get it off of there. Great. It says, warning, you are about to enter a maze of twisty passages, mostly very similar. Hmm. Oh no. Looks like someone forgot to pick up their trash. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Wow, neat. It's magic. Bring sprung heart. The laugh flowers don't wind the beast open, knowing you must sail away the next season on this major voyage. Quest. She tried and failed to keep it casual. I don't get it. Was that all the notes? X, Y, Z, Z, Y. A euro sign, a turtle, and a number sign. Shit. Oh, bring some of all winter and last. Okay. So turtle and then I don't know candlestick. And then X and Euro sign. Ta da The Pit of Agony lies ahead. That's promising? Yes, very it looks really deep. Okay, here goes. 
Oh no, the lamp is going out. I should have seen that coming. Water, fire. It's dark in here. Help. It's the pirate's life for me. It's dark in here. I don't even know if I'm going anywhere. It's dark in here. This is the point where Elaine usually rescues me. I'm trying to move right. I have no idea how I'm actually... Get out of here. Elaine! Any time now. I can only hold my breath for eight minutes. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. That was a close one. I'll have to remember that fire doesn't burn underwater. It's getting hard to tell the flora from the fauna. I need to get... a bit of plombe. For my lantern, right? I'm sure he won't mind if I borrow some demon fire. It's lit with demon fire. Good thing I went through all the dialogue options. Because obviously I wouldn't have remembered, right? Thank God. Okay, here goes. Looking at these ribs is making me hungry. Yeah, somebody forgot their bones. I don't think I'll get too close. They probably taste delicious. Damn, boy. I was trying to read the sign. Really? Lucky thing you landed on my bed. Herman Toothrot? I think so. It's been a while. Names do funny things when you're not using them. How have you been? Meh. Have you been in this cave very long? Well, not in geologic terms, <laughs> as a percentage of the total number of years of existence of the cave itself, it would be a small number. On a human scale, however, yes! It all depends on your perspective. I'm looking for a golden key. Sounds like something I might have read in a book once. It's Are lying down. Are you a fictional character? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> How does a person get out of this place? Typically, you don't. Are you freaked out by all the weird screaming in the caves? Oh, that's me. Just a little light entertainment and well-being work. Primal screaming is very therapeutic. Uh, try it. Ah. Whew, you're right. Yeah, that feels good. Can I get you anything? Out would be nice. It's a golden key. No touching! That's a golden key. Maybe it's mine. I tried it for the lantern. You were hunting for the keys too. That's how you got stuck here. Is it? 
I suppose that would make sense. Let's make a deal for the key. I'm pretty sure I wanted it for a reason, but a decade or so in a dark cave can do funny things to your memory. So, get me out of here, and then I'll let you have the key. If you let me have the key, then I'll get you out of the cave. That sounds good. As long as it's escape first, key afterward. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. Okay, last time. How do I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? It needs to be key first, then escape. It needs to be escape first, then key. Me having the key is for the greater good. For the greater good of you, certainly. Just give me the key already. Now! Give me the key! Ow! <laughs> and lantern smashed. Whoops! I'm eager to see how you're gonna get us out of here now. Oh, that's easy. I just do this. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Well, oh, I forgot Herman. Oh, that, that's too bad. What happened to Mr. Toothrot? When? Did you get him out of the His cave? His teeth rot. How'd you do it? That's not part of this story. Oh, okay. It's a little dirty, but still one of the most beautiful keys I've ever seen. So she was supposed to put the key where I can't get it. Which would be where exactly? It's in the Museum of Melee Island. Did I ask you to give the prisoner a drink of water? No, Captain. You did not. I was acting on my own initiative. When I want initiative, I'll ask for it. Of course, sir. I need you to be a team player. And right now, the team is focused on one thing. The secret. Uh, yes, sir. What? What is it? Out with it! Well, it's just that some of the crew have been talking. Tell me already! The feeling is that the secret is not really a team goal. It's been suggested that you think that securing the secret will help you to win over Elaine Marley, which, well, frankly, sounds kind of deluded. It's not realistic, sir. You are not to mention Elaine in my presence, and do not presume to know what I am thinking. Sorry, Captain. This will be the last not that time it I bring it up. Burned fairly yes, obvious. It will be. Uh oh. Poor Iron Rose. So, dumb question. Where are these people? Where's that volcano? If it's really in the museum, I'm gonna have a, have a laugh, I think. The light's off. Looks like they're closed. It's the Museum of Pirate Lore, but it says it's closed. I know the next thing Elaine will get to know about. Dockey little ghost lady, when I mean I know who was it. By looking around. Oh come on. That's dumb. Oh wait, is it in the bloody... Am I an idiot? I'm an idiot. 
It's in there, isn't it? No, it's not. Oh. Oh my god. Unexpected, but welcome. You shut that out, please. Thank you. This must be Whitey's stolen key. That's the last key. Voodoo shop, here I come. I'm um, in the wild, huh? Threepwood has all the keys. That's right. How do you Captain? know? Just recovered the last one. Prepare to set sail for Melee Island immediately. What about my spell? It's almost ready. I'm sure I'll find some use for it later. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't say the same for you, however. Aww. You're betraying me? I'm the one who does that. But I do respect talent in other people. Well, that's too bad that you're busy on, um, you know, fencing and stuff. You actually, uh, you know, beat me to the voodoo shop. I'm closer than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any closer to caring about it. Yes, I hate you too, lady. Wait. I'm not leaving Wait. until I have oh. the in my own two hands. I was wondering if I could um, free Otis with the fizzy drink. The moment of truth is at hand. There surely is no particular order to these, right? Wait, there really wasn't. And it's a parrot. It's cheesier than I imagined. Oh god. But still beautiful. Let me guess, I need to have a key made and when I come okay. back it's gone. Hmm. I wasn't really thinking about the possibility of yet another lock. This seems like overkill. Well, uh, there's no serial number. Maybe I can break it open. It's a rubber knife. Dude, can you stop wasting time, please? There's not a problem, I just see it as a puzzle. Not a problem, I just need heftier tools. Here's probably something obvious. Just keep telling yourself that. This is not a problem. Just keep telling yourself that, Guybrush. Three, four! Uh -huh. LeChuck, my old nemesis. Here we are again. Looks like this story ends the way it was always destined to end. With just you and me and the secret. Not quite. I don't suppose it'll do me any good to point out that you're cheating again? I've underestimated your resourcefulness, Threepwood. But force always wins in the end. Part you six. Should try it sometime. Imprisoned by LeChuck. Good luck opening that. It's well made. I tried everything I could think of for a whole minute, and I didn't make a dent in it. Of course not. The secret can only be revealed in a ceremonial chamber located deep within the bowels of Monkey Island. Of course. It would have been nice to know ahead of time. It pleases me to have you live with the knowledge of how close you were to having this before I took it from you. So, I've decided not to kill you right this minute outside. You keep that making door. that mistake, buddy. The deal is off. Don't even think about following me. And count to a hundred before you leave the building. One to a hundred. A hundred. 
Guybrush! Whiteybone said she saw you come in. Are you all right? No. I mean, Elaine is fine. LeChuck. Do you want to talk about it? LeChuck has the secret, and he's headed for the bowels of Monkey Island. The caverns underneath the big monkey head? There's no time to lose. Let's talk on the way. That did seem like a better way to get here than making the potion. I'll definitely have to take notes next time. Yes, I just hope it turns out to be worth all the effort. What effort? That was easy. I'm not talking about the trip over. I mean all the work you've done leading up to it. Not to mention the trail of destruction you've left in your wake. Hmm. Oh, nonsense. Give me 12 examples. <laughs> if you meant to challenge me, you should have gone for a larger number. Odina told me an exciting story about what happened on Bermuda. Apparently, you managed to destroy a priceless traditional artifact and the government of an entire island in five minutes flat. That's quite impressive. Whoopsie. Even for you. It took way more than five minutes. I had to win a bunch of contests first. Yes, Odina told me your joke. Ow! Quite funny. Odina also thinks you cheated on your algebra test and tried to poison her. It's the contest of intelligence, not the contest of algebra. I proved my intelligence by cheating successfully. You are very clever. Incidentally, I think you might also be royalty now, since you're married to me. I thought something felt different this morning. How many is that now? Four? There's been some slight collateral damage to the environment. Oh, no, no, no. It was the last one left on Melee Island. And I have it on good authority that you had something to do with the earthquake. No, as well. no, 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 no. Hmm, should I mention that? Let's not. But the earthquake was Captain Lila's fault. Nobody warned me it would happen. In retrospect, that was probably part of their plan. Maybe that one only counts half, then. I can't always predict how these things will turn out. Clearly not. Did you know the Museum of Pirate Law has shut down? You don't say. Two of its prize exhibits went missing. No idea how that happened. There was only one name in the guest book. Uh, was it LeChuck? I used a pseudonym. How did you know it was me? My T Pirate. <laughs> Doesn't everyone use that one? Herman Toothrot is also a little upset with you. He says you took his key and left No. It he was already in the dark cave when I found him. So, to be fair, no net impact overall. Except for the key. True, but he wasn't really using it. Well, you'll be happy to know he made it out. I rescued him myself. What? I am happy to know that. Thanks. Remind me why we're talking about all this? It's just, I'm worried that the secret can't possibly measure up to the effort and anticipation. <laughs> what exactly are you expecting to find? Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's just the finding part that counts. Well, be careful what you wish for. Well, I'm really glad I never have to go in there again. Are you ready for the caverns? I hate mazes. We all hate mazes. I love mazes. Well, well. You go on ahead, sweetie. I'll catch up. 